Hello, Vincent TV back again with another video of our Preston North End FIFA 20 career mode. This is currently our third season, I think. And if you haven't seen the video, our last video, I'm going to put the link in the description below. So go and check it out. I'm sure you enjoy it. In the last episode, it was a very good episode, actually. We won four games out of four, starting with Newcastle. We won 3-1 at Newcastle. We beat Victoria Plaza and very comfortable as well in the Europa League 2-0. And we beat Leicester 2-1 and the last game of the episode was against Bansley in the Carabao Cup which we won 4-1. And we are going to go straight into this episode with games against Tottenham Hotspur. It was going to be a difficult team to play against. Lazio, a good you know, Italian team, they're going, to cost, they're going to look to cost us lots of troubles and games against Watford and Everton hopefully but anyway as you can see going into this game against Spurs I think we are only one point above them we have got 16 points from the first six games I know things are looking good at the moment but we can't get carried away it's only six games into the league there's still so much more to play for and as you can see we have won five games and and we drew one we haven't lost any yet and spares just one point below us and you've got the likes of Liverpool, Manchester United and Arsenal who are just three points three points below us and hopefully we can carry on winning here I would love to qualify for the Champions League you know this season but then the goal that the board has set for us is to finish mid-table which hopefully from this position we should go on and do but anyway, let's get straight to this game against Spain. Forecasters promised us a very pleasant day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. What a game this is going to be against Spurs. Don't forget, we're just one point above them, and they surely will not want to go four points below us. So, for that reason, this game is even tougher than we should have had it. But there's my lineup for this one. Isaac and Emecha looking to continue their good run of form of scoring goals as well, don't forget. And the Spurs team then, Pjanic and Ndombele as the two CDMs, Torres, Thiago and Son, and Harry Kane, the main man up front. You've got a back four of Pereira, Foyt, Diaz and Chilwell and Hugo Lloris in goal. What a lineup that is. And look at their bench as well. They've got the likes of Tonali, the young kid from, I don't know where to sign him from now, but I know he's Italian. Hopefully, I say hopefully, we, I'm going to happily take a draw in this game just so I'm still one point above them. Meta there with the good hold of play. So strong, isn't he? He's going to find Godfrey. Isaac here. Alexander Isaac to Brown. Oh, Brown is going to lose that one so easy as well. But then they're going to give it straight back to us. Good cross in the box. Oh, that's a low key. But why did Isak look? He kind of dot dot away from the cross. Oh, so unlucky. I can't fault him too much anyway. He's been in superb form since we signed him, and I'm sure he'll be the same in this game. Good pass there. Mecha have been set free. And Mecha, can he take a shot with his left foot? Oh, straight to Hugo Lloris in goal. Oh, good tenacity there, boy. Alan Brown but then he just couldn't win that one back Spares on the first break of the game here for them Human Son Thiago the number 10 Pereira on the right hand side is going to find Ferran Torres I don't know why I went to ground there but Torres can he put a cross on the box good cross on the box and good header from Jeremiah St. Juiced oh by the way he's so quick you know Quickest centre back I've used in this game. Oh, so that's gonna get to him. Alexander Isak wasn't quite good enough to get there. Yeah, St. Juiced is the quickest centre back I've ever used on FIFA 20. Good cross into the box. Oh, Isak was ahead of there. But he just couldn't direct it on target. That's what I've been looking for. That's what we've missed the last two seasons. You know, a big centre forward, big strong centre forward that's gonna win headers like that. You know, last season, the likes of Maguire and the Mecha, they couldn't do that. 
Ruben Diaz. Ruben Diaz here Chilwell. is going to go out to left back to Ben Chilwell, who's definitely an upgrade Pianic. on Danny Rose. Thiago. Pianic. Pianic here. What a Thiago. team. Thiago and Pianic in your centre midfield. Pearson's going to take him out there, though. He's going to get the card later, I believe. Harry Kane. Harry Kane's going to go out wide to Torres. Torres with a cross of the box. And Pearson with a good header there. He wins so much of those headers, you know. He's always at the right place at the right time as well. You know, his ability to do that is just it's just insane. But Isak there, good good play from Isak. He's gonna find Alan Brown. Can Alan Brown return it to him? Yes he can. Isak one on one! And of course he just know what he's gonna do there in the bottom of the net. What a goal that is. Alan Brown with the assist, Alexander Isak with the goal. The chemistry between these two players though. I think if you go on and check all my goals, either the goals that Brown have scored or the goals that Isak has scored, they're always assisting each other. The combination, the both of them, what a finish though. When he gets one on one with the goalkeeper, right foot, left foot, you don't really expect him to miss. What a bargain is becoming at the moment. 24 million. Human son on the left hand side is going to cut inside. PSN has been booked there for that tackle off the ball before. Harry Kane. Harry Kane still going here. I'm trying to not give him space to shoot. Make him pass the ball. We're going to win that one straight back though. Ben Godfrey. Can we hit them on the break here? Robinson. Robinson to Isak. Isak's got space to run into and Dombella is going to take him out. Surely that's a booking but the referee have decided to play an advantage. Alan Brown. Oh, we've lost that one now. Harry Kane was offside there. Yeah, go and get your booking in Dombella. That was a terrible tackle. I'm going to go short with this free kick just to keep hold of the ball here for the last few seconds of the game. Pearson. Oh, Pearson is going to give it away there, but fuck, thank God the referee have ended the game there. Boy, it's ended the first half there. What a result this is going to be. I said before the game, I'll happily take a draw. We have dominated the first half. Spurs haven't had a shot. They haven't had a shot on target. It's all us at the moment. Hopefully we can continue with this second half. Thiago to Son, Son with a good cross on the box. I think that was that was a Jaria there winning the header, but we're gonna give it back. Ah, Harry Kane, what a finish that is! We've dominated this game till this point. That's the first shot. That's what I'm saying. This game sometimes it can be so unfair. That's your first shot. It's gonna fall to Harry Kane. What a finish that is! First time. What a killer as well. Second best, second best striker in any, well in in the Premier League in my opinion. Second best. I think I think on your day, Aguero is the, is the best striker in the Premier League. Spares here again. Straight since since they scored that goal, they've been all over us. And Zambelli, Harry Kane, to Pjanic, Pjanic back to Kane. His link-up play though. Look how deep he dropped to get that ball. One on one here. Harry Kane with the goalkeeper. What a save! What a save that is from Freddie from Freddie Woodman in goal. Alan Brown here. Come on, can we create something? Ovia Jaria. He's gonna find Isak and Isak hold that one. We're gonna win a throw. Straight off though, Robinson. Robinson to Egeria. Can Egeria find Isak? Yes, he's gonna find him. Good tackle there though by Ndombele, I think. Oh, good last ditch tackle there by the left back. Spares here, going on the break. Ball to Harry Kane. I tried to keep him offside there, but I'm too late. Can Godfrey keep up with him? Just make him 10 back. Oh, Harry Kane still going here. Good ball into the box and Ben Godfrey just in the right place at the right time. The game is open right now. End to end stuff. Lazaro on the right hand side. Lazaro to Isak. Isak with a one time layoff. Back to Pearson. Pearson to Brown. I'm trying to create a chance here. They're just. But the referee has given us a cheap free kick there. Spurs are going to make a sub here, taking out, taking off um, Torres and replacing him with Kostic. 
trying to aim for the left hand corner there but it's a poor free kick from Alan Brown only Ben Rama is, is a good free kick taker for me well I've seen enough here so far I'm gonna make a few substitutes I'm gonna take off a matcha for pain seal space you know he had a good start to life at Preston but since the signing of Isak quite rightly so we haven't seen much of him because I think Isak's the better player I've also brought in Ben Rama and Jonathan Amen Hopefully those changes can bring some positives to the rest of this game. Hugo Lloris is going to go long here with the goal kick. He's opted to go short to right back Pereira. Pereira is going to skip past Painsil, but Painsil there is going to win him back. That's why we brought him onto the pitch. His pace, his tenacity. Ah, Ben Rama there tried to set up Isak. Ben Rama though back on it again. He's gonna find Alan Brown. Can Alan Brown take a shot? Oh, it's blocked by the goal. It's blocked by this spare centre back there. I think that was Ruben Diaz. Pereira there though with a good tackle. He's gonna set spares off here for a counter attack. Kostic, who's quick on that right hand side. Godfrey's a little bit tired at the moment. He can't keep up with him. Kostic with a cross in the box for some reason. Harry K Oh, what a block! Harry Kane decided to head that one backwards instead of heading it to go. But what a block that is from Ben Davis though. Talking about taking one for the team. What a block that is. That's why he's our skipper. That's why he's our captain. That's why he's the leader of this team. PNH here with the corner. Can we get it cleared? Please get it cleared. Ndombele. Ndombele to Thiago. Thiago's going to take a shot. Another block. And this time, I think that was... Ejaria. That was Jonathan Amen that just came in second half and a comfortable save that time from the goalkeeper. We are just hanging on here at the moment. I'll happily take this draw right now. At least that will still keep us a point above them. But Preston North End on the break here. Robinson on the left hand side. Can he put a cross in the box? He's going to find Ben Rama. Ben Rama to paint Hill. Oh no. Oh no. That block again from Ruben Diaz. He's had a good game for them, you know. And he was a big money signing for them as well. This transfer window that I've just finished. And looks like he's you know proving to be a bargain for them. He's made a couple of decent blocks here. And Dumbella. And Dumbella to Hurricane. Surely that's offside. The referee has played them. Ben Godfrey there heading that one out. Just 30 seconds to go. Can we hang in? They're gonna bring in Tonali here for Dumbella. Ndombele, that's the squad depth though, they're bringing in a player like Tonali for a player like Ndombele Tonali here, but we're gonna win that one straight back and we get this glad Come on referee, don't do this to us And the referee have decided to end it here We dominated the first half, but we couldn't get a sniff the second half It, it was all spares after Harry Kane scored But I'll happily take this draw though Alan Brown was given the man of the match for this game as you can see the Spurs had more ball possession, they had less shots but they had more shots on targets. And yeah, we're gonna go straight on to the press conference here. Still unbeaten, don't forget that. I think this is our seventh game. Seventh game, five wins and two draws, that's not bad. Good start to the season. But yeah, what are the questions gonna be here? Hopefully it's not the silly ones that they always ask. The first question here, Preston North End is unbeaten so far in the Premier League, like I just said. Are you confident in keeping the streak rolling? You know, we're not obsessed with this. Our aim this season is not to go unbeaten the whole season. Our aim is to qualify for the Champions League. And if, if we can do that by not losing games, then great. But I don't think we'll be able to do that. So the next question here for the reporter, are you happy with the result today? I'm gonna, I went on to say we didn't really consider ourselves as underdogs, you know, we came here to get the three points, but let's be honest, I said at the start, I'll happily take a draw in this game. At least we're still going to be above spares. So what are your thoughts when, when they pulled it level? Sometimes, you know, let's be realistic, I think a draw was deserved today. I'm sure spares will share the same feelings, rightly so. That was a well end point at home against Tottenham Hotspur although the game the way the game went in the first half maybe we could have maybe just maybe we could have possibly scored more than one goal
But then again, the opponents were playing, like I said in the press conference, with the quality they have, you expect them to get a chance and take it. And that's exactly what happened in that game. But anyway, we're going to go into this massive game against Lazio in the Europa League. I think both teams got three points from their last game. Let's have a look here. We both got three points from our last game. Like I said, when I first saw the draw, the first impression was that definitely we and Lazio are going to be going through. And so far, it's looking like that. And if you can get something away from home, you know, that would be a good result. If you can get a draw here, surely that would mean we're, we're going to, you know, beat the likes of Legia, Warsaw. Hopefully, I'm just saying. But yeah, let's just get straight into this game against Lazio then. Our first away game in the Europa League then, and it's a very difficult place to come to. The home of Lazio, the Stadio Olimpico. Hopefully we can be able to get something from this game. As you can see, they've signed Sergio Busquets actually, and he's their captain for this game. They've got a good team, you know. Jason Denier, I can see there. They've got Cairo Immobile as well, one of the most informed strikers in the world right now. I've made, I've made you know, mass changes to the starting 11 for this game as well. Look at the last year starting 11 there, Marco Parolo, you know, some very good players. For four hours then, you know, as with the Europa League, it's Thursday, Sunday, isn't it? So after this game, we have two days rest and we have a massive game in the league against Watford. So we have to try and balance the squad. You know, the likes of Damsgaard, Johnson, Painsil, Eamon, Maguire, so many of them comes in for this one. And Declan Road in goal as well, who has a yellow card in this game. I can't remember him picking up a yellow card. But looks like he's gonna get suspended for the next game if he should pick if he should pick up another yellow card here. But I'll be really happy with a draw here, you know. Ben Rama has been set free by Amon. Can he return the favor? Can he take a shot? Oh, what a block by the defender. The ball is going to fall to Johnson though, not far away, Johnson to Maguire, Maguire to Jonathan Amen, but it's just offside. Oh, I could have finessed that, I, I went for a shot, but... Good win there, by the centre back, Ben Rama. Ben Rama is going to find Maguire, we have missed Maguire's pace, he's rapid. He's going to find Amen. Amen to back to Ben Rama! Oh, that should have been 1-0 up to us. This is the problem though, we're going to get all these chances, but they just need one. If they get that one chance... Oh, Jeremiah said just almost got onto that cross there. Marco Parolo to Lazari, Lazari to Santos. Santos with a shot and good save from Declan Road and goal for this one. Lazari with the corner here. Condopia! But we're gonna win that one. Can we hit them on the break here? Maguire, you are not catching him. He's off. You are not catching him. Now, what are we gonna do here? Relax. Try to pick someone up in the box. Good cross! Maguire's pace though. He's run from he's run from his own his own box to the opponent box and no one could catch up with him there. Damsgaard, Damsgaard to Ben Rama, he's gonna skip past, oh good save again by the goalkeeper. That goalkeeper have been in a good fall. Oh, I'm gonna be pissed off you know if these go and get a chance and score. Good switch of play here to Marco Parolo, is it Marco Parolo? I think so. Parolo to Berisha. Berisha is going to turn Barkhausen there, but Barkhausen is you know, keeping up to the task. Berisha again. Parolo, Immobile now. Can he keep that one in? Yes, he can. Berisha with the cross and Kondogbia with the finish. I told you, these are just going to get one chance and they're going to score. Oh, so frustrating. We have dominated most of this first half. Good cross though, but where am I defense? I have three centre backs. Where are the three of where was the three of them there? Jeffrey Condobia there with the first goal of this game. Lazio won. Preston North and nil. Forty three minutes in. Just two minutes to go now. They're gonna win that one back. Looking to hit us on the break again. 
Santos and Condobia one two they're gonna find Immobile with a shot I thought that was going into the right hand top corner there you know but unfortunately for him it was just wide of the post good ball there can he keep it in no there's just too much on the pass I, we don't deserve to be 1-0 off the football you deserve what's on the score sheet we've had chances especially that Ben Ram has won 1-1 one -on -one with the goalkeeper at either side of the goal and we are 1-0 up but he decided to go straight to the goalkeeper we're going to kick start things here in the second half anyway Johnson, Johnson to Maguire, Maguire to Pencil is that a save from the goalkeeper? Oh, let's see that again oh he's just hit it wide what's that goalkeeper's name? something Bonu Oh, you are Bonu, I think well, it's called. He's been in such a good form in this game, you know. Reminds me of what Freddie, Freddie Woodman have been doing in the Premier League for us. Oh, I've just slipped there. Oh, good save from Declan Road. My, my, my centre back slipped there and they had that chance. I don't know who that was. Come on, can we get this cleared? We can't go 2 0 down in this game. Davis with the header there. Now Pinsil, can we hit them on the break? Denier, Jason Denier is quick, don't let him get close to you. Pinsil is going to find Backheisen. He's going to go to the ground, that defender. Oh, well, I should have I played for that penalty there. Good cross though, and another punch for the goalkeeper. Why did I shift the ball there? I should have just stayed on it, and she should have brought me down. Anyway. Jonathan Eamon here, Maguire, Maguire's got a 10, what a, what, a, what a goalkeeper this is by the way, I'm going to make a few substitutes here, I'll bring, out, bring in Alexander Isak for Maguire, I'm going to bring in Ajari as well for that number 10, we need his composure on the ball, and I'm going to bring in Pearson in place of Damsgaard. Yeah, Ejaria, by the way, he's he's one of the coolest players I've used on the ball in this game. It's like he plays at his own at his own pace, at his own tempo, however much you want to keep the ball there. Oh, good save. Save there from the goalkeeper. Declan Rudd have made a few decent saves in this game. Berisher is going to be taking off for Johnny. Now can we hit them on the break? Good header there from that corner, but we have lost it. Straight to Kondogbia. Kondogbia to Sergio Busquet. Busquet with the cross! Oh! How was De La Fell missed that? That's the easiest header he could have had there. Ovi Ajaria. We wanted him on the pitch. He's so calm on the ball. Ah, oh, I should have set in paint till there. But I went the wrong way. Ajaria is going to win that one back though. He's going to set in paint till now. Painty a one on one here, looking for the runners. He's gonna go back. Painty with a pass to Ejaria. Ejaria is gonna turn. Good tackle though, but it's. Oh, it's a penalty! The referee is giving a penalty! I can't believe we have, we have played over the two minutes at a time as well, and we got the penalty! Get in! Well, I shouldn't be celebrating. We still have to score from here. Alexander Isak, one on one with the goalkeeper. He doesn't miss. He's gonna go on the bottom left hand corner. Can he put this in the bottom of the net? Of course he can't. One one for this game. Ah, oh, what a game this has been. You see, we have we have gone on to get the goal when we don't deserve to score a goal. The first half we were so dominant. We considered a goal against the runner play. And then we have scored a goal against the runner play as well. That's just football for you, isn't it? Alexander Isak there with his first goal coming off the bench as well and it's the final whistle last year won Preston North End won to get a draw at the Olympic Stadium what a massive achievement that is this is gonna be our toughest game of this Europa League group stage by the way Lazio I don't think we'll have so much problems with the other teams but anyway, as you can see there, we dominated the game actually, more shots on targets and Isak was given the man of the match for this game, well deserved. What a fantastic draw that is away from home at the Olympic Stadium. And finally as well, we got something to our favour, getting a late penalty there for Alexander Isak, you know, to continue with his goal scoring form. I think that's his fifth or sixth goal for us since we signed him. 
which is impressive really but as you can see here our scouts have come back remember we sent two scouts to republic of ireland and england to look for us to look for a goalkeeper for us and our republic of ireland scout here has come back with four players brendan brendan curran who is not good enough i'm gonna go in and reject him donald Cavanagh, six foot five irish young player it, it looks all right at the moment but as you can see his overall is currently very low and is only valued at 60k but hopefully i'll go on and sign him here and hopefully i can be able to grow him with a little bit of training and i'm gonna go on and reject the other two as well they're not good enough and let's see what our english scouts have got for us then Come back with Liam Morgan, who is not good enough. Ed Richardson, his overall, his potential is not what I need. Morgan Kelly, six foot four, again not good enough. Isaac Turner, again I'm gonna I'm gonna sign this one and put our eyes up and put our eyes on him. And these four of them here are not good enough. So yeah, let's go straight to that game against Watford then. Road in Watford, a, town to the of... a rainy day at the northwest of London at the home of Watford Vicarage Road and this is not going to be an easy game for us by any means especially my three centre backs here they are not you know their, their fitness is a little bit low considering we have just had a game three days ago against Lazio Looking at the Watford lineup then, Falke, Lejeune, Nastasic and Tagliafalco as the back four, Hughes and Campana, 2CDM, Pusetto, Harits, Ismail Assar and Javier Suarez up front for them. So many new players in that team, you know, and I can only recognize a few names like Hughes and Falke and Ismail Assar, the rest of them pretty much new players. It's the same team then that has played most of the games for us this season in the Premier League. And the two strikers, Alexander Isak and Mecha, looking to continue their good goal scoring form in this one. Hopefully, we can get the three points out of the game. And if we can, you know, get the victory here very early so I can take off some of my centre backs, it'll be great. Falke, the right back here, he's going to find Suarez. Suarez out wide to Pusetto. What a player that Pusetto is, you know. One of the best wingers I've used in this game. I don't know how Watford have managed to get hold of him. Normally the big the top side to always get him. But every Premier League side now with the top side, let's be honest, with the money coming into all of them. Lejeune there. Mecha is gonna get a yellow card for that later. That was a terrible tackle. Can we set up a Mecha here with his pace? He's powerful. Oh, Lejeune there, calm, composed. Talk about composure there. Playing the ball over my striker's head. Suarez here though. Watford have been all over me this first 10 minutes. Good cross! Oh, what a save. Fred Woodman is back at it again. I knew he was going to get booked for that. That was a terrible tackle from him. Hughes is going to take the corner. Once a Derby County won the kid. FIFA, what FIFA was that? FIFA 16? Hughes was the centre midfielder to sign. He's been good, by the way, since he moved to Watford. Alan Brown here. Can we? Can he set up Robinson? Yes, he can. He's just managed to keep himself onside. There's Isak on the far post. Can he find him? Good save by the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper just came out there on the right time. That's, that was our first attack, by the way, and we almost scored from it. Campana with... Ismail Assad doing one twos here. He's gonna fall for Suarez. Suarez here. Good save! Oh, that was initially a good save from the goalkeeper. And Watford are gonna draw the first blood for this game, going 1 0 up. Look at that again. I think it pulled it back. Was that Campana? No, that was Pusetto. Good save from the goalkeeper. Ah, oh, no, it was Amin Harrit, the center attacking midfielder for this game. Robinson there, nice and strong. He's gonna win that one back. He's gonna set up a Jaria though. A Jaria to Isak. Isak, what a pass that is to Mecha. And Mecha here, can he put a good cross in the box? There's, oh, there's Brown on the far post and he's gonna make the game leveled 1 0. What a cross that is from a Mecha. I thought that was Isak. 
But no, it wasn't. It was a match out and Alan Brown has continued his wonderful form to this season. Since we started this career mode, he's definitely got over 50 goals in three seasons now. What a header that is. He was never going to miss that, let's be honest. Four goals in the Premier League for this season. We need to settle down though. 1-0. One 1-0 all. One all is a dangerous scoreline for us here. The way Watford are playing in this game. Pusetto, but a match is going to put that one out for the throw in. Falke, the right back here, is going to find Hughes. Hughes back to Pusetto. How was the referee giving a free kick for that? Come on, just a few more seconds. 40 seconds to be precise to Hanganier. Campana with a, with a free kick. They just don't get these free kicks right, let's be honest. It doesn't matter the quality of the set piece taker all them free kicks from those sorts of position they just seem to overheat them all the time but anyway straight into the second half here Ismail Assar what a player it is by the way the man who single-handedly took away Liverpool on beaten run for the season good cross into the box oh my god is that Ismail Assar with a goal I've just I've just given him a praise what a cross that is though, that's the second time they're putting in a cross like that. Yeah, it's Ismail Asar as well, what a, what a good player he is, so quick as well. Yeah. Alexandre Isak to Lazaro, I haven't seen much of him in this game but he's going to skip past the defender. He's going to carry on going here, Lazaro is too strong, can he pull it back for Isak? He's going to come back. He's going to pull it back for Isak. And it's a penalty. The referee is giving in as well. Yes, it's two penalties in, in quick succession here in our last game and this one. Let's see that again. He went for the fed. Oh, it's definitely a penalty. Come on, Campana. That's too poor. Alan Brown here. Now we're going to give it to Isak. Isak with a penalty here. I'm going to put it on the roof. Left hand corner. Oh, he's missed it. Oh, he's celebrating! That must have gone in! I hope they showed the goal line technology. I thought he's missed it for a second there. Until I saw him celebrating. Let's see that again from the goal line technology's point of view. Oh, what a strike that is. Let's see that again. It's so close. Oh, yeah. It's just... It's just... It's just about half an inch. Just few, uh, a centimeter or so past the line there. Come on, can we go for the killer goal here? A matcher. A matcher is going to keep hold of that one. Looking to get people into play. He's going to find Pearson. Pearson to Isak. Isak to Lazaro. Can he keep hold of that? There's just a little bit. Take, just take it with a little bit more from that pass, and we could have been in there. Oh well, I'm gonna take off a matcher here. He's too tired to continue. I'm gonna bring in Maguire. I'm gonna also take off Ejaria for Robinson. I'm Ejaria for. What did I take off Ejaria for? Mm. Still waiting for a substitute here. I brought in Eamon though for Robinson. And then I, t I took off. Um, Ejaria in the center attacking midfield pos in the center midfield position for Johnson. Somehow they've managed to keep that one back. But St. Juice there with a good header to Pearson. Pearson to Alan Brown. Alan Brown looking for the looking for the runners in front of him. Can you cut back here? There's no one around there. He's gonna find Isak though with a lovely pass. Isak, can he take a shot here? He's cut back to his right foot. Oh, it's blocked. Can he get off? What a finish this is gonna be! Talk about scrappy goals there. Alexander Isak with the second goal of the game. What a finish that is. He showed he showed us he showed us he's such a good player though. In a short space of time he's been he's been oppressed to nothing. Look at that. He stood up. He wanted that more than the defenders. What a finish to the roof of the net there. Right hand side, top beans to put us 3-2 up in this game. Can we hang in? My players are knackered. My strikers are knackered. My centre backs are knackered. I'm gonna go all in ultra defensive here. Hopefully we can pull this victory out. 
two round there is gonna find Sa. Sa is a lovely ball to Tagliafaco the signing from Ajax go on push him out there don't let that cross into the box and it's a corner just four minutes to go plus at the time surely we can hang on here this is not going to be the repeat of Manchester United conceding a leg goal good header there yes Maguire keep hold of that look to hit them on the break don't let oh he's going to just go back there can't do anything there so Jonathan Eamon Eamon to send juice juice to Johnson Johnson with a lovely pass out wide to Maguire just keep it there one minute to go no need to cross the ball just keep hold of it like that go back if you can he's gonna go back to Pearson Pearson to Isak Isak can he turn and take a shot oh the defender just Nastasic just Nasta Nastasic whatever he's called good little interception there and yes what a victory this is especially after not being able to get a victory against Spurs, three points here is massive to keep hold of that top four for the meantime. Still a long way to go though. The season is still far away. Alan Brown was given the man of the match here. I actually think Isak should have been the man of the match. It's only 0.2 rating between both of them though. Yeah, Isak should definitely have been the man of the match for this game. I think he's been robbed. Alan Brown, don't get me wrong, it was fantastic today got a couple of assists I think but Isak won the game for us that goal though at the end as scrappy as you can have it what a victory that was against Watford not the best of performance but we hanged on there until the final whistle to get that massive three points as you can see it puts us third on the league table after eight games and Alexander Isak as well what a season he's been having he's shown us different sides to his game as well and I still think there's more to come I still think he can improve you know he showed us his hold up play which is superb he showed us his skills he can beat defenders he showed us that he can score well these and for this game he showed us as well that he can get those scrappy goals when he needs to what a performance I'm so happy with that victory you know and I think we're going to end it here for this episode. And yeah, if you haven't checked out my new video, my second video on my Arsenal career mode, check it out. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. I'm going to put the link on the description for that video on here. And if you do enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like. And if you're new to the channel as well, make sure you subscribe as it helps the channel to grow. And I really, I really do appreciate it. I mean it. And yeah, I'll see you later. Bye for now.